we're going to look at a variety of questions to do with proportion. So the first question, nice straightforward one. The weight of a piece of wire is directly proportional to its length, which we write as the weight is directly proportional to the length. Proportional signs aren't very easy to use, so write that as an equation. W is K times L. And the first step is to try and find the value of K. And to find that, we need to know a corresponding pair of values. So we know that when the wire is 25 centimetres long, the weight is 6. So substituting those values in, 6 is K times 25. So K is 6 over 25, which means that the connection between the weight and the length is that W is 6 over 25 multiplied by L. And that's going to work whatever value L and whatever value of W. So when we're told that the wire is 30 centimetres long, to calculate the weight, the weight is 6 over 25 multiplied by 30, which gives us 180 over 25, which is 7.2. So the weight is 7.2 grams. The next question is direct proportion but this time the second variable is squared. So D is directly proportional to the square of T. We can write as D is proportional to D squared. Write that as an equation, D equals K times T squared. Corresponding pair of values, D is 80 when T equals four. Substitute those values in, 80 is k times 4 squared, and 4 squared is 16. So k is 80 over 16, which is 5. So we have the connection d is 5 times t squared. And that will hold the whole of this question, whatever values of d and t we put in. So work out the value of d when t equals 7. D is 5 multiplied by 7 squared, which is 49. And 5 times 49 is 245. So D is 245. Work out the positive value of T when D equals 45. Remember our connection is D equals 5 T squared. So if D is 45, we have 45 is 5 t squared. Divide both sides by 5, t squared equals 9. Square root, and if you square root 9, you get plus 3 or negative 3. And this is where it matters that they say the positive value of t. So the only one they want is the value 3. So when d is 45, the positive value of t is 3. The next question, slightly different, it's to do with inverse proportionality. So if P is inversely proportional to M, we write P is proportional to 1 over M, which again we can convert into an equation, P is equal to K over M. And then we're told P is 48 when m is 9. So substitute those values into the equation. 48 is equal to k over 9. So k is 48 multiplied by 9, which is 432. So our connection is that p is equal to 432 over m. Calculate the value of P when M equals 12. So substituting that into our equation, P is equal to 432 over 12, which is 36. So when M is 12, P is 36. Y is inversely proportional to X squared. Do make sure you take note of that inversely proportional to, because it does make a big difference to the whole question. So y 
is proportional to 1 over x squared because it's inversely proportional. Write that as an equation y equals k over x squared. We know that y is 2.5 when x is 24. So if you put those values in, you get 2.5 is k over 24 squared and 24 squared is 576. Multiply both sides by 576. K is equal to 1440. So when we substitute that back into this connection here, Y is equal to 1440 over X squared. And that's an equation that will hold for the rest of the question. So to find Y when X equals 20, substitute 20 in y is 1440 over 20 squared which is 400 1440 divided by 400 is 3.6 so when x is 20 y is 3.6 and then a little bit more calculation the value of x when y equals 1.6 so we're using the connection but y is 1440 over x squared. So 1.6 is 1440 over x squared. Multiply by x squared. 1.6 x squared is 1440. Divide by 1.6. x squared is 1440 over 1 1.6, which is 900. So to find a value of x, we want to square root 900. Now again, when you square root 900, you get two answers. You get a positive 30 or a negative 30. And that's why the question says find a value of x rather than find the value of x. There are two values, positive 30 and negative 30. And I'm going to choose positive 30.